Muscle and bones, skin and bones. A back that's strong, strong. 16 tons. What do you get? St. Peter, don't you call me because I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Okay, uh, 30 centimeters. That's 30 centimeters. That long. Okay? Now, there's going to be a, a jack screw. We're lifting 16 tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. So, the jack screw is going to is going to have a handle this long. Every time I turn the handle, I raise it two centimeters. That's two centimeters. So every time I turn this handle, 30 centimeters long, so that's on a wheel. Got it? So that's actually the radius of the circle, isn't it? All right, so it's like this. Turn that handle, right? Every time I turn it, I raise it two centimeters, like that much, okay? So, you know, when you talk about actual mechanical advantage, you're talking about the output force over the input force. Remember the last problem, it was five? Well, when, you're, when you use forces to determine mechanical advantage, you include friction in that. Well, friction is wasted force, so your mechanical advantage is not going to be as high as it should be. How do you get the ideal mechanical advantage? Like, what should it be? Well, if you use distances, the 30 centimeters, that's the, this is the center, 30 centimeters, 30 centimeters, 2 centimeters. There's no friction involved there. If I have an inclined plane, 100, 100 meters long, really long, and only goes up 1 meter. 100 over 1. The ideal mechanical advantage is distances. Distances don't lie. There's no friction involved. So the actual mechanical advantage takes into account friction. The, the ideal mechanical advantage takes into account distances. Actual is forces. Did I say that right? Actual mechanical advantage is friction. It's forces. The ideal mechanical advantage is distance. Actual FO, output force over input force. Ideal input force, input, sorry, input distance over output distance. Easy? So now, given this information, I want you to, to determine what is the ideal mechanical advantage of this jack screw. It's 30, the arm is 30 centimeters long. It's going to raise it 2 centimeters turn of the screw per turn. And I'll be right back. I'll see what happens. Okay? See how you do. Understood? Have a good day.